damn, that went up quickly. Two, three. Hello, everyone. This is this guy. Anomalous Zero, Vincent Cipla. You can also find me on Magic Gathering Strat and MTGO Strat, where you can also find other people. Uh, let's see if this is worth anything. Medomia? Medomai? Uh, it's not worth anything? Man, should I just take the Sea God's Revenge? <laughs> uh, it's a 4-4 flyer for 6? No, yeah, it definitely gives you extra turns. Otherwise, yeah, Sea God's Revenge. And then maybe, like, Favored Hoplite? Omen, yeah. Uh, and also, if you want, I don't think I'll be playing with a camera, but boom. Camera on. I'm still not used to just having a camera on me all the time. So I might just like, you know, scratch myself. I don't know. Who knows? There's nobody in the channel anyways right now, so we'll just go like that. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Medomi. I've never played with it. Oh, and for people that heard, you know, I'm back on Magic Online since last week. But, you know, why haven't I been drafting more? That's probably not worth anything right now, but... Oh, I'm worth a dollar. It's a Swiss. Easy pick. Uh, so where have I been? I got a new job. Just temporarily till the end of Christmas. But I've been working like... I just got hired. I started working on Wednesday. And I've just been working the past four days. Get home, watch some TV, go to sleep, go back to work. But I have uh, today and tomorrow off. So I'll be drafting. So this is worth a dollar. Fifty at least. And if you play a Swiss, if it's worth a dollar fifty, it's it's pretty good expected value to take it. This pack's not even that good. They took an uncommon. Yeah, there's some uncommons that are better than a Temple of Silence. This pack is like Ray of Dissolution. A Crow and Hoplite, Agent of Horizons. This pack's terrible. Oh, okay. This pack. What? This pack's crazy good. Um. So there's favorite Hoplite. Heliod's Emissary, uh, which I believe the Emissary is better than the Hoplite? I don't know, actually. I have no idea about that. But I'm almost positive the Wing Steed Rider is better than them both. And I'm already set up pretty well to go, like... Yeah, Wing Steed Rider's just crazy. Uh, Ill-Tempered Cyclops is very good, too. Apparently, Present Chimera is good. I've never had a good deck for it. Um, Yeah. And I'm, I don't think anybody's going to come on the channel. I'm live streaming right now. People can join if you want. But, uh, like, because I think Kenji and Star City Games and Wizards and MJ are streaming. So I'm just not going to be here. Uh, Ordeal of Heliod. And hopefully something tables. There's an Aqueous Form for Blue Heroic. Scholar for Black Heroic. Spear point for, but I think ordeals are pretty good. That's like not a great one. Ooh, ooh. So I have no idea what's better. Um, as LSV calls it, Shriekma, the baleful, I baleful idolon, idolon, or Erebos's emissary. I think they're both really good. Um. I think I want to take them. That's another spear point, uh, Orid. But, like, I think if I set myself up for black white, maybe splash blue, I'll get a couple scholars back, and they're pretty good. There's also, like, actually, yeah. There's. I don't even know. I'm spinning good card. I don't know which one's better. I think I'll take the 3 3. Uh. Okay. So there is another cavalry Pegasus, but they're not that great. Because they're low impact. They wear pants pretty well. Uh, there's a boon. But then there's a Baleful Eidolon. Uh, and apparently... Wow. Take the land. I did. It's right here. It was second pick. Uh, I'm not sure what to take here. There's a Cavern Lampard and a Horizon Scholar. I'm guessing it's the Lampad. But Horizon Scholar is so good. Also, I think a late agent of Horizons? Oh, it's Alana. The Swamp. 
Swamp. The swamp. Uh, I'll take the cat. I don't know. I'll take the cavern knife, but I have no idea if that's correct. Um, I'm guessing between... Hmm, it's interesting. I, I figure Blood Toll Harpy would be better in sort of a black-white um, bestow heroic deck. But Disciple's just so good. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, I will take a snare caster. Easy. <laughs> How did the Akron Hoplite cable? <laughs> this pack was so bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take the Decorator Griffin. Okay, take that Harpy. Uh, I'll take that Harpy. I'll take that Glare of Heresy. And I will take the Sandals. Probably don't want to play them. So what do you two think? With the camera? Or without the camera? Keep in mind, I won't be able to pay attention to what the camera looks like, so I might be making stupid faces. And swamp. Come on, whatever's worth money. Elspeth? I'd settle for an Elspeth. Swan song. Oh, keeps it, Gorgon. I'm assuming swung. I'm going to say nothing. I never really care. Yeah, I don't know. Some people seem to like it. I have one now. I'm assuming swan song is worth nothing. Do I have MTG bots still? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I'm gonna see my unshaven face and fat neck. I don't think I gotta check though. Savage word after swan song worth. That's not how you spell swan. That's not how you spell song. You don't like anything. Yeah, it's not worth anything. Yeah, obvious. Like, it's a great keepsake, Gorgon. Uh, there's a Phanalax leader. Oh. Ooh. This is tough. I assume Ashen Rider is probably tanks. Because it's an unplayed mythic. Yeah, 50 cents. So, Phalanax leader or Grey Merchant? This is... I don't know. It sort of seems like it's Falnix leader. Like, there's also a Dauntless Onslaught. This is terrible. No, it's not really unshaven. I just can't shave. I had to wear collared shirts for my new job. I just... Like, I don't know. You probably can't tell, but there's just a rash right here. So what do you think? I'm thinking Grey Merchant, but it could be a Falnix leader. Yeah, I'm definitely black. But I just have no idea what the pick is here. Like, these are three... I'm just gonna take the Grey Merchant, because I know it's a good card. Oh. 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 Why are you all here together? So, Hopeful Eidolon's pretty good. You're... Op you opened a good mythic? Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good point. See, I'm not sure what I should take here. The Insatiable Harpy is really good with Bestow and Enchantment, but the Magosi's Marauder would be a lot better in a black white aggressive deck. I think I'm going to take the Marauder. I'm pretty sure it's the Marauder, even though, like, oh. Oh, well. I mean, I could take another Marauder, or I could take the Triad of Fates. I don't think I want the Paracus Cure. Par Parika? Farika? Yeah, Hope I don't want really good. Oh. I don't. You guys play weird standard. Twitch. What's going on? Oh. Hailstorm T? Are you in the chat? I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Try to fate. There's a lot of good cards in these packs for me. Uh, See, here, I don't know. I, I can't take the... I can't take the Battlewise Hoplite because 
whatever, I might be splashing this six drop. So do I want the Tormented Hero, the Baleful Eidolon, or the Chosen? Ah, okay, that's a good sideboard card. Yeah. I was playing nothing? Oh. Yeah, I... I I feel I got I got your feels. I get I actually get my first paycheck in a long time next Friday. I think it's a read the bones. I don't really like any of these other cards. And I like read the bones. Oh what? <laughs> uh sorry. Yeah, obvious gray merchant there. I don't owe you anything, mate. Oh, Battlewise Valor or Ray of Dissolution? I think it's the Battlewise Valor. Uh, Lash of the Whip Tables? Alright. Disciple of Fl Ooh. Disciple of Flanix or God's Willing? I will pay you that a week from never. Oh! Was he talking to you? I don't know, I took the Disciple there. I like the Disciple. It's pretty good with Baleful Eidolon. Yeah, I could definitely switch colors still. That was a late gray merchant of Ashfaddle. Ashfaddle? Uh, none of these are super great. Is there anything I really want here? Uh, I don't know that. Don't know. Me? You fill my chat with abuse, I will time you out. I have a 20 ticks friend X. <laughs> then we're not friends. Actually, I, I have... I have actually got a lot of stuff. And I have a lot of stuff I can sell. I've got like... Yeah. Well, I just wanted to keep this separate from other money. I guess I should have made this bigger in pack one. Sorry, folks at home. Turn to the side. Uh, I already... I don't really want... I'll take a Viper's Kiss. Uh... I think I'm gonna take the Yoke Docks. I don't really want to play the 2-3. And I'm not black-red, so I don't have the, uh... Minotaur Synergy. So... Like, I think the 04 early probably be more relevant. Ooh, and that's probably worth money. I'm happy now. I don't know how to spell this. P L O U K R. That's probably. Nope. I had an I. Pelucanos, eight and a half. Yeah. Otherwise, if that wasn't there, I would take the Sentry from the Underworld. Yeah. Let's just leave that there, because who knows if I'm white. I only have four white cards. Pelucranos is a pretty good card. Time at the Mer Another Sea God's Revenge? You guys are crazy. Time at's not worth anything. Uh, so I could take a Lash of the Whip, a Nessian Courser, another Cavern Lamp ad. I have no idea. I, I don't know how to value things in this... I don't think it's Sea God's Revenge, actually. That's just click for no reason. So I think it's between the Corsair, the Lash, and the Lamp Pad? Or the Parika's Cure, I guess. At least the... Yeah. Yeah. Because there was some good green a couple of times. I don't know. I'll just take that Lamp Pad. Or whatever it's called. Uh, there's a leaf count, right? So what do I want? 
This evangel's not very good. This is a late time to be switching colors. Uh, the evangel's not so great. I don't know. I think I could take the leaf crown just in case. Alright, so there's nothing here. There's like a God's Willing and a Disciple of Flanix. Fenex. Did I get any more? So I only got the Wing Street Rider. That was a crazy pack. I have so many four drops. Um. Yeah, I have no... Oh, no, there's an Observant Eidolad. Sorry, I didn't even notice the Observant Eidolon. Chronicler, Fanatic. What are these packs? So it's definitely not these two, sadly. And it's not... Do I just take the Chosen? I don't have a lot of... It's just a Cantrip in my deck? That seems really bad. Maybe just the Blood Toll Harpy? Like, maybe I'm just going to be mono black in the end. I don't know. These are all pretty bad, besides the Divine Verdict. Maybe Boon? I don't even. Boon of Erberos? Yeah. Fine with the Black Tooth, but unplayable in a format of combat tricks. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, the Disciple? That costs five to bestow. Otherwise, it's a three drop. Let's just hide that. I don't know. I like the eye a lot. I'm not sure how to rate next snap. Hmm. Interesting. You want verdict? It's not even a question. Yeah. Too late. Too much of a delay. Ordeal, another disciple. I think I want the ordeal. Uh, uh terrible. Not terrible, but all these cards are mediocre. There's a rescue from the underworld, which is okay in my deck. But there's also a scourge mark, which is also okay in my deck. Rescue is pretty powerful with the two great merchants, but I don't have a lot of big, splashy stuff, so I'm going to take the Scourge Mark, uh, Bale Flight on. Death Touch. So now I can take a 3-3 three, three or a Precus Cure. Uh, ooh, Chosen Tables. Or do I want a Glare of Heresy for the sideboard? Again, it's just... It's just a toughness pumping in my deck. I literally only have the one. I think I'll take the stronger sideboard card. Uh, I might need to play that. Hopefully not. Hate that. It's a really late Chronicler of Heroes. Alright, I have to cut a million cards. Am I just mono black? I guess mono black splash very little. No, not playing that. Not playing that. Kevin Lampard, Disciple, Emissary, Triad. Don't have to play that. I don't have to play all the Blood Troll Harpies. Don't have to play that. Walls better? Not against me. You think you think a three three that draws a card that comes into play is worse than a zero four wall in this format for five that gets back that gets back at sorcerers? I don't know about that. Depends on the deck, I guess. Let's just put in everything. All right. Nope. Uh, 
something. Yeah, and the th and the three drop kills them on turn five with a, when they curve out because they can't trip into another play. Like anecdotal arguments are stupid. Congratulations. Uh, I I've okay, but every other streamer I've watched has disagreed with you, and I understand their arguments. I don't understand yours, so I guess. I don't think they, they could be wrong, too. I don't really need that Scourge Mark. It's okay, because I have a lot of, like, Lamprads and Blood Toll Harpies, so maybe it's better over here. Like, it's hyperbolic as LSV is? He calls it, he calls the 3-3 three, three Maldrifter. Though he's been getting more hyperbolic, so... Whatever that means. So I need to cut like three or four cards. The disciples aren't very good in my deck. Neither is like the snare caster. Yeah, it is. It kills a creature. Why? I don't know. OBS like upgraded a couple while ago. And even though it said it, so apparently it's skipping frames now, I don't know. It seems like the encoding got worse, and it's taking longer. Uh -huh. So what should I cut? Read the Bones isn't very good in my deck, but I guess it's okay. Ordeals not... Uh, actually, the ordeals are pretty good with even the two drops, three drops. I don't know. Like, the Disciple isn't... I don't think the Disciple is very good in my deck. Like, it works well with the Grey Merchant, but... I don't know. Flash is good, Grey Merchant Keepsake, Triad seems okay if I ever get into the long game. Cavern Lampad, Harpies, Marauder, Wingsteed Rider, Ordeals, 2 drops that also double as 5 drops. So what do you think? What sh what Um, yeah, I think I can run 17 lands. I have a pretty low curve. I guess the Observant Islands aren't really that great. Like, I don't have a lot of... Well, I've got a couple of good things to give. Hmm... I mean, yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Nineteen, twenty-one. Yeah, it's probably a little too greedy. Huh. I'll put that back. Like that? No, I can keep one more of these. So I have 17 creatures? I don't know, how's that look? The mana is really awkward though, like this Wingsteed Rider. This Wingsteed Rider. Huh.
Yeah, I have to cut something. You can't just say play the disciple. You have to say what am I playing over the disciple? Am I cutting like the wing steed rider? That seems wrong. Like, I'm not playing 24 cards. Also, the delay seems really big. I'm not sure why. The Wingsteed Rider? It's so good, though. Like, I don't care if it's a 5-drop. Well, actually, I do care a little bit. But I just... I don't know. Like, I go like that, like that. It's not so bad. Yeah, that man is a lot better. I'm not putting in March and... Where are the artifacts? Why am I running artifacts? They're right here. Anvil... I'm not running... <laughs> this is this is not a Feather Flight Sandals deck. Oh, what are the artifacts? Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. The bird is playable. Yeah, just but just because it's playable doesn't mean I want to play it. Like if it's a four drop, I'd rather play the Wingsteed Rider. Uh, it's not even it's not even a fine mono black there. Like it's not even bad mana. Like I'm only splashing for literally four cards if I cut the Wingsteed Rider. That. That's 16. There, so 10 7, or yeah, 10 7. No, 11 7? That seems okay. For four cards, an 11, so I can hit my double black. Yeah, I'm not sure about this build, but I think I should probably should have, like, committed to either going white or not earlier. That's what should have happened. But I'm too much of a flippy flop drafter. So let's submit, and apparently I was the last one to submit, so let's just be quiet for a couple seconds so I can have a break.